From WDTN, this is a Storm Team 2 weather alert. I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith with an update on the severe thunderstorm warnings in the Miami Valley. So now Mercer County, Auglaise County, Shelby County, Miami County, Dark County, Preble County all in the clear as well as I would go ahead and say Butler County as well in the clear. Wayne County, Indiana, Cincinnati is now in the clear. Dayton, you're still seeing some of the heavy rainfall, but most of the strong wind gusts are just to your east. We are now concerned with areas from southern Logan County, no longer Bell Fountain, included in a warning, but heading into Champaign County, Urbana, Springfield and Clark County, Xenia and Greene County. Some of the strongest winds just moved through there as well as down into Wilmington and Clinton County. Here's a look at our latest live Doppler 2 HD radar imagery. You can see we have this strong line of storms. Still some very heavy rainfall around Tip City area. A lot of lightning, but not as much lightning as we were seeing earlier as these storms move through. We also have an interesting little uh, back cell that has developed into Preble County. Maybe a few gusty winds there, but overall these storms on the backside likely not going to be on the severe side, but this storm is worth watching as it approaches Eaton and will move into the western half of Montgomery County. This line of storms has been causing some wind gust around 58 miles per hour was recorded at the Dayton International Airport as well as some damage and some power outages have been reported as well. Power outages and tree damage is going to be the biggest area of concern. So once again, our northern county, so this is Logan County, no longer in the severe thunderstorm warning for Russell's Point, Rush Creek or Bell Fountain, but we are seeing one of those stronger storms move out of Logan County that did pass through Rush Creek. That's where the strongest wind gusts are now moving out of the Miami Valley. A look further to the south. We are now in Champaign County. Strongest winds just moved through Urbana will continue to push out of the Miami Valley, but Urbana, you're starting to see the brunt of the heavy rainfall and the lightning as well as through St. Paris into Tremont City and Springfield. You're starting to see the heavy winds approach you now. These will continue to move through South Vienna and eventually out of the Miami Valley. They will be followed by some heavy rainfall as you can see there through Bethel now where there could be some some of those penny sized hailstones. Overall, this is a look at the winds. You can see through Urbana, Tremont City, Springfield, along really 68 there, tracking along I-70 and to South Vienna is where we are going to see wind gusts. Could still be up to 60 miles per hour. Most of our wind reports have been between 50 and 60 miles per hour. A look further to the south. This is moving through uh, Greene County. So Dayton, you're starting to see the rain come to an end and you will be in the clear. That is the good news. This strong line, quick moving line along a cold front has dropped our temperature. We're at 64 degrees during the last hour. Dayton is now at 50 degrees. So cooler temperatures will be in store for us as this line of storms passes through. But notice we have some lightning moving through excuse me, moving through Xenia. We also are seeing the strong wind gusts now on the eastern side of Xenia approaching um, Jamestown. Jamestown, you're going to start to see some of those stronger wind gusts here shortly, as well as Wilmington down into Clinton County. So there's a look on our velocity scan. It looks like the stronger winds are going to be into Clinton County. Most of the strong winds are not in Greene County at this time. So we still have the potential for 60 mile per hour wind gusts anywhere from Logan County, uh, just south of Bell Fountain, all the way down into Clinton County and Wilmington and this line will continue to move out of the Miami Valley and we'll watch this little cell right here in Provo County to make sure it doesn't continue to grow. But those are the areas of concern right now. A look at just some reminders. If you are in the path of these storms, most of us uh, should just stay inside, stay away from the windows and get to the lowest level of, in an interior room if you can to be extra safe. This has been a Storm Team 